and see what it goes somewhere else. Hopefully, or makes it better, more interesting. Um, and then maybe more towards like the collage. Uh, I don't really look for anything specific. Um, I just kind of rip through, and it's like a fast edit, and you just snag things that may catch you and cut it's part of it. Like it's not a yeah, and then you go back to those, and you kind of have like raw material then. And then a lot of them often drawn to like tactile, like pretty textural, um, and kind of abstracting things a lot of times, like where you may take uh, something from here, but if you turn it, it's, it disorients it, right? And, or if you crop in on it, it's like a lot of like cinematic um, techni techniques, or like they would pan in, or they come from a certain angle, and all of a sudden you turn upside down, and you know a field of corn looks like you're going down. So a lot of that plays part in like my visual language, and then it's also like sometimes you can identify the thing, sometimes you don't know what it is, but it's something that's not that far fetched, but yet you, you go somewhere else with it. So sometimes it's just that and finding weird connections that um, they're usually not compared with each other, but the way that you kind of make sense of things, you pull it off and it becomes something that doesn't exist before that. Um, and then also, that abstraction helps part of that to work. Um, and then some of it's fun, like I do more direct things too, where uh, they're kind of like formal relations where you start to identify common objects that you wouldn't maybe connect with each other, but because you're putting them near each other or in context with each other, you have to kind of deal with it. And uh, and you kind of you know walk away from them and be like, here's the time bomb, see ya, you know, like what the heck? So um, that kind of comes up reoccurring um, as well. So I kind of have a lot of different mediums I work in and a lot of different ways to go about, but it kind of is consistent at the same time. And uh, I've done a little video too where that gives time and uh, kind of like. Uh, evolution sort of thing, like where things can dissipate or dissolve, where if it's just one thing, it's just kind of, that's it, right? If it's an image or an object, there's uh, not the dimension to it. So that's kind of an interest too, and, but still handling some things that are familiar, yet you're like removing it, or maybe isolating it, and it goes into an area that like, it's a new place, or a little more mysterious, like, slows you down a little bit or um, visually hopefully there's something that, that's engaging too so they, like you care to even stop You're like what is going on there I mean sometimes it's subtle you have to really look so um, I don't know I don't know if that's without images I don't know if that makes a whole lot of sense <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> some of the things I I've given that speech I've given a very similar speech to that and it's, it's just totally just all conclusive yeah. so it makes total sense you're speaking, you're speaking to myself. Yeah, so nice. I've, I've given lecture speeches that sounded almost identical, and it's amazing. And it's just the true artist state. Cool. The cycle of artistic life. It's just all this. Yeah, and I, I think um, I see the. I did one show where I didn't even know I was doing portraits either. They were like video, and one was like a transparencies, and one was recorded um, light transparencies, and one's where like. Where basically, like, I didn't know, I was trying to find common things with people, or you make distinctions and common connections, or like visual connections, and then uh, you're kind of changing them in a way where they're like familiar but yet new at the same time. And it's like really, it's, it's odd, but really interesting. And you try not to go, when you're doing portraits and stuff, uh, I wasn't interested, it's real easy to make them grotesque. And it's really easy to make them like, goofy. And I wasn't interested in either, so it was really tough. Like, it was a delicate balance of like, I need to, I was interested in combining these things without being like cheesy or like the mashup faces or the, I don't know. So it was like, that was an interesting challenge where I, I usually don't have people in my images. They're usually either more formal or abstract or whatever, I just usually don't like people in the picture. <laughs> and so when I took it head on, I was like, holy shit, I didn't think I was 
doing that, and then when I did, I started realizing those are the things like, sometimes you figure out what you want, or you, you might not know what it's going to look like or what you want, but you know what you don't want, you know? And so as you're working on it, you can sort that out of like, you have an idea and you have the image. And um, I teach at a uh, university too, and that's like one of my pillars I, I preach on is combining, I'm very, uh, I always enjoy like conceptual work, but I can't help but like totally be into the visual. And those guys always kind of, by, by function or purpose, they made sure they never merged. And I was like, just take the best of both worlds, you know? No one cares if you have a good idea if it's not engaging. And vice versa, anyone makes something really cool.